The first thing I wanted to get done this week was creating a Trello board so I can organize my project and hopefully be a bit more on task. Because last devlog, I didn't really have a clear plan of what I wanted to complete. Bruh. Because I don't want it to get too out of hand like it might have done last time. Spoiler alert, I didn't actually finish the game. So this week, I was on a mission to be on track and on schedule. The first thing I did this week was create a car mechanic. It's always fun to drift and jump off of things with cars and games, such as Jailbreak, so I wanted to add that into my game. In the future, I want to add more controls, like a boost button. I'm fast as fuck, boy! I also want to make something like drift button. Or like a car honk or something. But for now, I think this will be good enough. Especially because I did a poll on my YouTube channel, and most people did not want to see more cars, at least right now. Most people wanted to see weapon type, which is completely okay with me because I love shooting and blowing things up. And so that's exactly what I worked on next. In my previous video, I created a shotgun, a A12 weapon, and I also created an AK-47. Except, the AK-47 didn't actually look like an AK-47, it just looked like a default part. Bruh. So that's what I wanted to change this week. I wanted to add at least three new weapons. I got to work creating an AWP, which somebody from my Discord server actually created. Bruh. Shout out to you, gg for life After a few issues, I got it working in the studio. A headshot is an automatic kill, and a body shot is 75 damage. And then I decided I wanted to create a model myself for an AK-47, and so this is how it turned out. <laughs> yeah, the top of it doesn't look that good. Bruh. But it shoots fine. <laughs> I also created this bazooka. Don't worry, I'll model something to make it look like a bazooka later on. I followed along to this tutorial on YouTube. Everything worked fine, except when you shot it, you pretty much exploded instantly because the rocket would just hit your body unless you were shooting it, like, right in front of you. And believe it or not, I actually fixed the issue myself. All I did was change the can collide and can touch to false before it shot, and then it would wait 0.2 seconds, and then it would turn both of them to true. That way, it wouldn't actually hit your character if you, like, shot it behind you or something like that. I know, pretty smart of me. I had made these buildings, but a lot of you guys had said that the top of them to take this little roof thing off, and so that's what I did. <coughs> I also changed the color of a lot of the buildings to make it a bit, or at least less, copy and paste. I also made this harbor because I want to add boats or something like that into the game later, and I also created this tunnel underneath this mountain that's going to lead to a suburban area, and I don't know what else yet. I got to work actually making the suburban area. I want to make the houses robbable later on, but for now, I'm not going to do that. I modeled this simple house, and I duplicated it a bunch of times, and then I just dragged them all in rows to make it look more like a suburban neighborhood. I definitely want to put more effort into it, but for now, I think this is probably good. 